Hey everyone. So today I wanted to take a look at the best charting libraries in JavaScript. So I've grouped these into three different categories. First is going to be just the simple, if you just want to chart, you know, you're building a dashboard, you don't need anything fancy. This is for you. Next up is the more advanced, like the scientific type charts. And then finally is if you need full customization, you're going to make some complex stuff. That's the third category. So let's get into it. First up is chart.js. This one is super simple. Like here we've got this vertical bar chart. And one of the cool things about this is just how performant it is. So let's say I want to add some new data sets. We're going to add a few different sort of uh, values there. We can add a bunch of new data here. And I mean, this granted, it's not doing a whole lot, but look how smooth that is. And I can hover over each of these. Obviously, it's a little bit harder to use now that it's super thin. But let's check out how this actually works. So to define this, we've got, since we're passing in what type it is, the data, and then passing in whatever options we want. In this case, there's just a few. So responsive, and we're telling it which kind of uh, you know labels we want. And the data, in this case, just using some generator they have to you know make some random data. But pretty simple, really nothing too exciting here. One of the interesting things about this is you got these buttons down here. Now, these aren't actually part of uh, chart.js. What you can see is just how easy it is to dynamically update the charts. So in this case, if you want to add a data set, it's literally just pushing a data set to chart.data.datasets, and then they're updating. So very easy to work with. They've got a bunch of different options. They don't have the most options, but the ones they do have just work quite nicely. So next up, if we're using React, is Nevo. Now, Nevo, <laughs> as the URL says, Nevo rocks. This one to me is just incredible looking. You know, this is built on top of a popular library called D3, and this takes out all the complicated work, but they've done so much effort into making this just look really good out of the box, having good accessibility, and all of that. So this also has some pretty fun charts that you, know, you might use building a GitHub clone. Here we go, we've got our commit history. So pretty cool, and one note is this one is React only, so everything we have here, like let's look at this sand key one. If you go into the code, we'll see that this is just a React component. And you pass in your data, set all the values as properties, and it just works. Yeah, just really well designed. I mean, look at this. Automatically has these lovely gradients and, and little animations here as well. You know, for anything that's not super complicated and you happen to be using React, this is definitely my pick. All right, next up is Plotly. This is where if we're doing anything a bit more, let's say, data science focused or analytic data, you can really make some cool things that, you know, if, if you were to do it from scratch, would take quite a bit of work, um, but it still gets quite a bit complicated. So 2D histograms, there's a lot of stuff, but this is like Plotly has such a huge community around it. And it's just basically anything you can think of, you know, financial charts, they really do specialize though, like Plotly on the more enterprise focused needs as they are a commercial offering. Now this Plotly library, this is, I believe, MIT licensed. So yeah, this has an MIT license, um, but they do have commercial offerings. And so that makes sense why a lot of their stuff kind of aligns to that. So if you do have these more advanced needs, I mean, they even have, I think, some 3D charts. So if you want to make a, a tri-surf plot, I would never have a need for a tri-surf plot, I'm sure. But it is cool that these types of things are in here. Yeah, like, when would I ever need this? I don't know but it's good to know that it's there. Now, if you do want something complex that doesn't really fit the mold of any of these, there is D3. Now, D3 is like the OG charting library. This is one that basically everything else builds on top of, except for, in our case, chart.js doesn't use it, but everything else does pretty much. Nevo, Plotly, all of them. And this is where you can build some really crazy stuff. Like, I don't even know what this is, but, you know, this is not something that, I mean, this is not a ton of code to have some crazy little piece here. I mean, yeah, just so many different possibilities that if you have really advanced needs or if just data visualization is something that you're really focused in on, it's worth learning because it's just super powerful and you can do really crazy stuff with it. I mean, you can see, I don't know why you would need this, but you could totally design a uh, set of gears. <laughs> but if we take a look at one of these, um, let's take a look at just the examples and let's just find a pretty simple bar chart, hierarchical bar chart. So as we can see, oh, this is a lot more complex than just a standard bar chart, even though, oh, wow, did not expect that. Okay, well, definitely uh, way more advanced than the other bar charts we looked at. So this one, as we go through here, you can see that we're having to define 
a lot of the things that the other libraries just take care of, like how to create a bar, how to do this, I guess, diving into, uh, like how to zoom in, basically. That's a lot of work for a uh, bar chart. Granted, this is a very advanced bar chart, but just, yeah, the point I want to make is <laughs> if you want to do something really cool, you want to learn D3. But if you just want basic charts, you know, that's, that's way overkill. Now, there is another library, if you don't want to use D3, it's called Vega and Vega Lite. So Vega, oh, you can do some really <laughs> complex stuff here as well. But instead of programming it in the sense that you do with D3, where it's all actual code, in this case, we have these uh, schemas, this JSON spec that defines what this chart looks like. And to me, honestly, this is more complex than, than D3. But there is this Vega Lite, which takes the same ideas. Let's just do whatever this is, carbon dioxide, perfect. You know, this is gonna be a much more concise view of you know, whatever Vega had. In my mind, if you're building a simple dashboarding app, check out, well, if you're using React, definitely use Nevo. But if you're not, check out Chart.js. And there's others like this. You know, this, the easy chart, like the simple charts, there are plenty of options out there. This just to me is such a, a beautiful option. Again, Plotly, you can do a whole lot here. And you could even use this for basic things like bar charts. Um, and you can see it's fairly simple. So this is always a good option as well. All right, so this is probably a pretty short one, but hopefully it's been helpful. I will see you in the next one.